Hello everyone. Welcome to the next session of Answers APDL. In this session, we are going to solve for a simply supported beam which is subjected to point load. Let's get started. I'll first go to preferences. Structural. OK. Then I'll go to preprocessor. Element type. Add, edit, delete. Add. I'll choose beam. Two node. OK. Close. Then I'll go to material properties. Material model. I'll choose structural, linear, elastic, isotropic. Since I'm using structural steel, I'll give the value of Young's modulus as 2E5 and the value of Poisson's ratio as 0.3. OK, and close this. Next, I'll go to section, beam, common section. Say the breadth is 20 and height is 20 of the section. OK. Sections is done. Next, I'll go to modeling, create, key points. Inactive CS, say the first node is at 0, 0, 0, so I don't have to fill up 0. Apply. I'll go for the second node, say the length of the beam is 500. Okay, so this forms my two key points. Then I'll go to lines, straight line. I'll pick up the two points. Okay. Next, I'll go to Meshing, size control, manual size, global, size, number of element divisions, let me give it as 4, ok. Then I will go to mesh, line, I will pick up all the points and the meshing is done. Then I will go to plot control, numbering. Element or attribute numbering, I'll change this to element numbers. Okay, now I can see the number of elements here. I have chosen as four divisions, so I can see four elements. This is done with meshing. Now I'll go to loads, define load, apply, structural, displacement. Since it is simply supported beam, on key points, I'll choose the first one. Okay. Let me consider this end as fixed, so I'll say all degree of freedom. Displacement value, when I leave it as blank, it means it is zero. Okay, so this is now my fixed end. Again, I'll choose on key point, the last one. Okay, let me consider this end as fixed, so I'll say all degree of freedom. Okay, next I'm going to apply some point load. So I'll go to force or moment on node. I'll say choose here, okay, direction is FY, the load is minus 50, apply, let me apply some load here, okay, in the FY direction, minus 100, okay, so I have applied simply supported conditions and some point load, this completes my loading on the beam, next I'll go for solution, solve, Current LS, OK, the solution is done, close it, I close this. Now I can go for the result viewing, so I'll go to general post processing. I'll first go to plot results, deform shape, deform plus undeformed, OK. So I can see here the undeformed in the form of white color and this is the deformed shape. If I want to see the contour plot, I can see the nodal solution, degree of freedom, Vector sum displacement. Okay. So this shows me the displacement over the entire beam. If I want, I can also see the stress on the beam. So this is the stress. I'll choose one minus stress. Okay. So I can see the one minus stress over the beam. Also, I can go to list results, reaction solution, all items. Okay. So here I can see all the results have been listed fx fy fz these are the value of reactions mx my and mz so these are the moment reactions on the beam also i can see the nodal solution all items okay so i can see these values 
for each node now that was overall value this is for each node then i can see the value so this is how we solve for a simply supported beam with point load on it i hope you have understood the solution if you have any doubts please write to me in the comment section see you in the next session thank you